Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I usually don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. Now, Kenyans, William Samuel Ruto is now going after Regadi the Shagwa, his deputy president, about the allegations that were there during the demonstration that some individuals alleged that it was Rigadi Gashagwa together with individuals in this government who tried to create mayhem, sponsor goons against the government of the day at that time when the Genesis were demonstrating because of reject finance bill 2024. Kenyans, as you speak, the police officers and of course the detectives attached to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations are investigating these three individuals that we believe they are working in the office of Rigadi Gashagwa. And so the claim is that they plead and there is allegation that they financed the violence, protest, and looting of businesses in Nairobi and part of central Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, please do me a favor, ensure you like the video. So now Kenyans, as William Ruto is now diverting our attention from real issues that are now being discussed, William Ruto has just realized that lying to Kenyans is not going to, to be sustained for a long period of time. Now, we are being told, the three senior aides of Deputy President Rikadi Gashawa were Tuesday grilled over an ongoing probe seeking to establish those who could have financed the anti-government protest. And so police visited the offices of the officials in Karen, Nairobi, for their statement in a session that took hours. The detectives attached to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations are investigating the violent protest and looting businesses in Nairobi and part of the central Kenya. And so the question is not about, again, the Ford Foundation. It is now at Irigari Shagwa who have financed this. Who have financed this. And those who are being investigated are close aides of Rigadi Gashagwa. Remember earlier on, William Ruto said that it was Ford Foundation that was funding this demonstration. We have no use for anarchy and violence and destruction of property and loss of life. Wale ambao wana sponsor hiyo violence. Sisi tunawajua. And I want to call out those who are behind the anarchy in Kenya. Those who are behind the sponsoring the chaos in the Republic of Kenya. Shame on them. Because they are sponsoring violence against our democratic nation. Mimi nataka niulize watu wa Ford Foundation watu ambie. Iyo pesa wanatoa, wanatoa ifanye fujo, njyo wapate faida gani. We are going to call them out and we are going to tell them if they are not interested in democracy in Kenya, if they are going to sponsor violence, if they are going to sponsor anarchy, we are going to call them out and we are going to tell them they either style up or they leave. But at the same note, when they are alleging that regarding the shower played a role in this demonstration that made them withdrew the finance bill 2024, 
the way you could see the mouthpiece, political mouthpiece of Rigavida Shago Nye, Mutai Kaiga, saying that this finance bill, Lazimi Yende Chini. And so they are claiming that Rigavida Shago sponsored incitement against the finance bill of their government. But on the other side, Rigavida Shago is saying he doesn't have any problem. Why should he incite? or sponsor goons against the government that he is the deputy president. So regarding the is claiming that whatever William Root is doing is on, of course, it is his right as the president of the Republic of Kenya. He doesn't have anything to question because he's just the assistant to the president. Deputy President, kazi yangu ni kumsaidia rais na kuwa muaminifu kwake na kumuheshimu. Ile ameamua mimi nafuata kwa sababu mimi ni msaidizi wake. Na siwezi bishana na yeye. Kwa hivyo yale wote amefanya sisi tumekubali. So ima tope wanapaka regard ya shagwa ni ile ku divert your attentions from real issues that should be discussed. I realize sometimes that if you see now this issue of deputy president having issue with the president. It is something that happened during the regime of Uhuru Mage Kenyatta. You saw the cross allies of William Ruto. They blamed Uhuru Kenyatta for sabotaging the office of the deputy president by then William Ruto. And William Ruto was being maimed, frustrated, and blackmailed. The same thing is happening in this regime of Kenya Kwanza. So the question is as remember one thing. These individuals are telling you that it was Rigadi Gashagwa with his close allies who tried to sponsor the protesters during the demonstration of Gen Z's to loot of businesses across the Republic of Kenya. It is just to paint a picture that yes, of course, Rigadi Gashagwa had a contrary opinion opinion against the finance bill. And so for him to come out to sponsor goons, what they are doing now to investigate, it is just to divert our attention. They said it was Ford Foundation that sponsored the goons. They say they know who sponsored the goons during the demonstration. Why are they going around and beating around the bush? Can they come out and speak the truth? Let them speak the reality. Because I realized that the government of William Ruto is drama after drama. It's drama after drama. After coming from this, they are going to this. After coming from this, they are going to this. Then the question is, when will these people work for Kenyans? Because already there is an issue of impeachment. At the same time, there is an issue of investigating and grilling these three aides of regarding the shower. And even them storming the offices of regarding the shower. So that they can understand who is sponsoring. Who is sponsoring the protesters or the so called goons? For me, I know and I know very clear. Regarding the Shagwa's truth is like painting a bad picture to the government of the day. And in fact, there is a fishy plan to remove Rigadega Shabo as the deputy president. And they don't want to, to, to just wait till 2027. They want to interfere with Rigadega Shabo now. And that is what they are doing. But the question is, are they going to succeed? Are they going to succeed? That is the question we are asking. Are they going to succeed? It is just a matter of time. When and where? Because already the impeachment motion is likely to be tabled before the House or before the floor of the National Assembly. The same thing as these three guys are being great. Now, they're having a lot of issues accusing the Gadiga Shagwa. The question is, are they going to nominate or impeach the, the man? Because now the accusation is too much for, for the, the, the Gadiga Shagwa. Because now they have realized the Ford Foundation is not in the face of so-called sponsoring the demonstration. But now they are landing on Rikadika Shagwa's shoulders, see, ah uh ah, -uh, ni wewe ndi ume sponsor demonstration.
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.